That was the wonderful Diana Krall with her dulcet, warm tones singing All or Nothing at All. And now I'm going to chat to Brendan and Muriel about the Mother City Hop, which is an international swing dance festival in Cape Town. And there's only one of its kind on the continent. And this festival draws Lindy Hoppers from all over the world to the Mother City for a weekend of dance workshops and parties. And I've got two very young swing dancers in the studio with me. It's very nice. Usually one would... Um, associate swing dancing with an older crowd, but <laughs> yeah. badly not. Thank you very much for having us on the show. It's a pleasure. Um, I think uh, swing dancing is uh, coming back in a big way, and yeah. it's really um, taken hold of a younger population. I think originally, when it originated in the 1930s and 40s, it was young people that did it, mm. um, and it's just that most of those folk are very old now. Yeah. Um, but the new wave coming through is is a younger group, so. It's fantastic. It's exciting. Yeah, and it's obviously people like Michael Bublé helped to make it happen and uh, to, to build a new generation, mm. a new audience. Yeah, I mean, there's a there's been a very active uh, s- swing culture coming back since the, since about the late 80s and 90s. Um, the, mm. the swing revival started then. And was, ever since then, the Lindy Hop has just been spreading all around the world. And it's it's really big now in, in Europe and, and America and, also, well, pretty much everywhere. Um, mm. In fact, the biggest scene in the world is in South Korea. Oh right. Yeah, um in Seoul. And mm. uh we're we're a pretty young scene, but we're growing pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, are you from the states? No, no. I've I've I have a weird accent. I spent a few years in Canada. <laughs> oh, okay. <coughs> because you sound very American. <laughs> so are you are you uh, are you working on the South African um Mother City Hop only, or do you work internationally on this whole thing? Uh, no, well, we we're local. We're we're established us. We've established ourselves here. I mean, we teach here, and we um, mm. we we're sort of part of the Cape Town Swing team, which is the Cape Town Swing is a non-profit organization that organizes um, events and social dance opportunities mm. and parties in Cape Town, right. and uh, that's the organization that's that's putting this festival together. So we work with with that group. Okay, fantastic. Now, what can people look forward to? Yo, when does it start? start? <laughs> um, when, when the does festival it itself yeah. is in March. Right. It's from the 23rd to the 26th of March. Right. Um, and we have dancers coming from all over the world, um, but we also have a very special beginner's track. So if you've never danced before or if you love swing and jazz music, mm. um, if you'd like to learn to dance, it's it's a there's a track specifically for those people. Um and we have fantastic teachers from four different continents coming down. And we've specifically chosen these teachers because they are wonderful with beginners and they are, yeah, they're just so exciting to be in class with. So, um, yeah, I see they're from Sweden and the US and South Korea and Australia, these teachers. Yeah. Yeah, really, these are among the top dancers and teachers in the world. So it's so exciting to have them coming to South Africa. Yeah, that's amazing. So it's starting on the 23rd of March, Thursday the 23rd, and then it runs until the 26th of March. And it's various locations within the Cape Town city centre. Um, now, what what locations? Do you know which location it's going to be yet? Uh, we're in the process of finalising the different venues. Right. Um, we'll have four different tracks ranging from absolute beginner through to more advanced, and the different classes will be at a variety of different uh, studios around Cape Town. I see. There's a party pass, um, which is for five fifty. There's a beginner light pass for six fifty. A full pass with entrance to all the workshops and parties for two, two th- just over 2,000 rand. Well, between 2,200 and 3,200 rand, and that's all in. Is that for the? Yeah. So what we've done there is we've structured for the same for the same ticket, which right. is a full pass, the whole shebang, if you like. Yeah. Um, we've structured different ticket prices to suit different budgets. So some people can afford more, um, some people can't. So to sort of give people an opportunity to give more if they can, right. especially to our international participants who are, you know, paying in euros, maybe they have a bit more to spare. So that's why we've structured it that way, but the tickets are all the same. So we've sold out of the cheapest bracket, the right. 2200, and the next one is the 2400 oh, okay. rand ticket. Yeah. And if I can just chip in at that point, uh, we also, part of the reason for the structuring is we're raising funds to support those that can't afford tickets. Mm. So if you're a dancer or would like to be a dancer but can't afford these tickets, you can still get in touch with us. Uh, we have a fund to support those. Right. Can't mm. afford it. <coughs> and there's a website, mothercityhop.com, where yeah. people can go to for all information they need. Yeah. Right. And you're also on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. And um, 
people can also email Muriel, you, at um, muriel at mothercityhop.com. Yeah. Alternatively, yeah. info at mothercityhop.com. It'll reach either of us. Right. And if you want to know any more about Lindy Hop or swing dancing, you can check out Cape Town Swing, what we're up to. So we organize small and bigger events throughout the year all the time. There's one coming up this Saturday we'll, where we'll have some vintage swing music from the 1930s and 40s, like the legit stuff, yeah. um, not the not the modern stuff that is less um, less Dance authentic, if you like. Yeah. Um, and we usually have beginner classes at all of our events so to give people a taster of what it's like so that they can actually get on the floor. That's great. If anyone would like to take classes in the lead-up to the festival, mm. uh, there are two groups giving classes in Cape Town. Uh, Swing Time has classes on a Monday night, mm. and Boogie Back Dance Company has uh, Tuesday and Thursday night classes. So they can all that information is on the Cape Town Swing website as well. Okay. So Cape Town Swing, so it's just a matter of Googling it, Cape That's Town right. Swing, yeah. and, and yeah. you'll find it. Yeah. It's wonderful. I, I live in Somerset West. Uh, why don't you come out that way? <laughs> it would be. We'd be very happy to if we could get a group together that wanted to d- do some dancing. We could yeah. definitely come yeah. and do some work there. Sounds wonderful. So it's the Mother City Hop International Swing Dance Festival in Cape Town. It's going to be on from the 23rd of March until the 26th, all around Cape Town. Best is to go to the website, which is mothercityhop.com or Google Swing Time Cape Town. Uh, Cape Town Swing Cape Town, Cape Town Swing, swing. Yeah, Cape Town Swing the two dance schools are Swing Time and yeah. Boogie Back Dance yeah. Company but okay. the, the organization that organizes socials and this festival is called Cape Town Swing oh, right. Cape Town Swing dot co dot is the website yeah. okay fabulous and we wish you well yeah um, and, and I just wanted to say if you yeah. if you're interested in the beginner light ticket they are spaces are very limited um, we've probably got about 50 spaces available only so I would definitely recommend that people get on that quickly before they sell out cool Thanks, Brendan. Thanks, Thanks Muriel. So Thanks so much. much. Yeah, good luck with this. Now we're going to listen to Charles Duplessis and Zanta Hoffmeyer playing Libertango. Mm-hmm. 